Hi, I'm Yuto from Kitai. Thank you for inviting me to this workshop. I'm happy to be able to present our work in this workshop. Let me introduce myself. I got my PhD in the University of Tokyo making research on musculoskeletal human robots. After a few years of my career as an assistant professor, I began shaft to develop a high-powered human to solve the problems of the disaster response of Kushima. We attended the DARPA Robotics Challenge 2013 and was able to win the competition. After being acquired by Google, we continued to develop a bipedal humanoid robot platform that is cost energy space efficient. Currently, I'm working in Gitai to develop an avatar robot system that can work in space. Let me explain why we are developing avatars that can work in space. It is because there is a large cost issue to send an astronaut into the International Space Station. To maintain their operation, they cost as much as 438 million United States dollars per year. If we can develop an avatar robot that can actually conduct their work, we can provide an avatar as a cost-down solution in the space industry. The difficulty in making avatars or robots into business is how to monetize the technology. And I believe space industry is a good application for avatars as an initial market because of this large cost issue. We have been conducting various experiments, which is actually tasks that astronauts are making inside the ISS. We've made mock-ups inside the office and repetitively making experiments to improve our overall performance. The challenges include dual arm coordinated motion control, handling soft and transparent objects, cables, handling tools, which are tasks that are very difficult or time-consuming in AI-based autonomous robotic system. Our shared autonomy system with a human operator highly integrated, we are able to conduct such tasks in a speed that no robotic system has ever been able to achieve. To actually introduce an avatar system to permanently be used in his society, we believe making avatars to be able to conduct various tasks with high success rate and in short time is highly important. We are developing a practical avatar every day on this assumption. This movie shows one of the most difficult tasks that we have been working on in the ISS. It is called the MHU, Mouse Habitat Unit, and they involve multiple complex motions in succession. First, unlock the door. Take the unit out. Unlock the small lock by the side to change the position of the unit. Take out a tool from the toolbox. Switch the tool from right to left. Hold the tool tight and unscrewing it. Take the mouse inhabitant module out.
Unlock both latch using the alarms. Store the unit. Close and lock the door. Next, we will briefly introduce our avatar system. We develop all hardware, software, including avatar robot operator cockpit internally to maximize the comprehensive capability of the system. There are many, many technical components and challenges in developing a capable and practical robot. And we have been developing it through making experiments that are actually required from the market. We have a corporate culture of crash and build our software, hardware in a very short time to develop the most sophisticated avatar system in the world. Next we will introduce our control system for the operator. We have an exoskeletal manipulation system that has the end coordinate of the operator linking with the avatar robot. The avatar has two stereo fisheye lens and this can be seen through the HMD to the operator. The base frame actuated through three pairs of Omni wheel enables smooth maneuver forward backward rotation. The litter enables safe operation by local feedback loop against obstacles. Nice. This movie shows our robot going through a narrow path with the obstacle avoidance function turned on. Next let me introduce our haptic feedback system. The gripper of a robot is synchronized with the trigger of the operator and force when gripping an object is sent back to the operator. To detect the avatar in contact with the environment, vibration is applied to the operator from the IMU on the avatar robot. Force on the end effector of the avatar can also be felt by the operator through the exoskeletal device. Small force and its direction can be felt in our system. It is patent pending design. Next, let me explain on visual representation. 4,000 by 3,000 pixel stereo vision is sent in, up to 60 to 80 milliseconds, low latency. With high resolution stereo system, we can recognize the depth, detail of an object as if you were there, and with this visual feedback to an operator, execution of tasks in high success rates and short tack time is achieved. This experiment shows how we can actually read books through the system. Success. I had the most difficult job studying my 40 years old car today in 100 degree heat. I had to take the carburetor home, feedback and force, adjusting the set screw. Can you prepare me 5 grams of the medicine? 5 grams. This shows how an operator through an avatar robot can measure the amount of medicine indicated by the recipient. We are currently preparing to attend the Anna Avatar X Prize. We decided to join the competition because we share the same vision with X Prize. We want to develop a practical avatar system, sending it to the actual market to solve various problems through exponential technology that can change the way we live in the future. As an avatar X Prize has already announced a guideline together with some sample scenarios for the competition, we have started some experiments to further improve the performance of our robot. Let me show you a few examples. Get the BQ 
to be gone. Okay. Okay. In this experiment, the avatar robot will get as medicine told from a recipient from a locked shelf. This is a scenario that incorporates various task capabilities such as communication with human accurate manipulation to open the locked shelf with a key judging the correct medicine through high resolution visual feedback. Can you hand me that too? Okay, this one? No. This one? The no. scenario shows the avatar robot not only depend yes. on language but okay. can make gestures such as nodding or shaking the head to communicate. Thank you. We can also play chess. This scenario shows charging a battery by an avatar. A battery and a charger is handed to the avatar, and the avatar will charge the battery into a charger, inserting the cables to the plug. This is a scenario we prepared to try out an avatar with enhanced perception compared to human beings. Through a thermal sensor attached to the avatar, the operator can have an enhanced visual capability to detect a human and make a rescue. <laughs> These experiments are not something from the guideline, but let us give you a few examples of a general task. This is a sample task of carrying a 10 kilograms object. Mm -hmm. 
We try such experiments to find out what kind of capabilities are necessary if we want an avatar robot to work naturally in our daily life. When we think of ourselves, anyone can carry such things as 10 kilograms objects, and we think we should build avatars at least this strong to be useful. On the other hand, avatars should not only be strong enough but also be able to handle delicate objects through force, haptics feedback to the operator. This is an example showing that our system can handle various objects in a single avatar operator configuration. 2 kilograms heavy objects crisp eggs. This is an example of handling soft objects. This is how we open a zipper. The point here is that we can execute such task in this speed. It is X1, recognition of transparent objects. Handling thin things is generally a difficult task for a robot, but with an avatar system, tasks can be finished step by step in this speed. Cups that are easily crushed can be piled smoothly like this too. This is an example of opening a new bottle of drink with dual arm. As you may all understand, it may seem simple, but this requires dexterity of dual arms. And at the same time needs to be powerful enough to open the cap of a new bottle. <laughs> this demo shows our robot has a wide range of motion so as to be able to pick things on the floor.
We can tidy up dish that include transparent cups. With the limitless rotation wrist, we can close valves quickly. As a closing, let us introduce our next generation prototype that we have been developing. It is called the G1. We are trying to develop the best avatar in the world that is practical and durable. To guarantee the safety of the people, environment in contact with the robot, we have been working on current control based joint stiffness mm. control. When we think of human, we are not only strong but also fast. To develop an avatar that can do what humans do, we are designing the robot to have high torque speed configuration. We're planning to have the robot in shape by November and keep on developing with this avatar robot to achieve an avatar with the best performance in the world. Thank you for listening.